The, this glass got broken last night and just found out this morning it was broken and we were playing around with a water bottle and somebody threw a water bottle and it just this was down and that was really broken and that hit it or something or it just hit it in the right spot I guess and, and it broke that's how easy those glass can break and these are really flimsy glass so you can see, oops, you can see it's, it breaks pretty easily. So I'm not trying to replace it. Um, I'm going to go to Home Depot or to a glass store right now. It's Sunday, so I don't know if I can get glass. I can call a glass company to do it, but um, I'm not trying to do it myself. So I'm, I'm going to take some measurements and I want to make sure that I get some precise measurements. The precise measurement, I want to remove that stuff right here. That's what, that's what really just hold the glass in after they paste it in. So you're, when you're replacing the glass, you're gonna have to buy something to put that in. Normally, you can use the glue and just put some glue and just finish it nicely there. And that's what I think I might do if I kind of get that plastic molding. We have the molding taken up so we can, we can get a true measurement of what size glass that we're looking for. The ledge up there, so you only make sure you have that ledge behind it. So that's what, you're gonna make sure that you on that ledge. Is thirty four and a eighth is thirty four and a an eighth by forty five and a an eighth. So that should give us what we want. So we're gonna run to Home Depot, and when we come back, we'll move from there. We'll remove all the pieces. You can see it's just glued in at the back here. So what I'm gonna get at, at Home Depot is. Is the glue, um, some kind of white glue or whatever, or gray. I'm gonna look for gray glue and I'm gonna get, see if I can get this, replace it with this. Um, the molding, if I can get the molding and then we'll go from there. But I went to Home Depot, I got this. This, this cost about $36 for a sheet of three by four. So I need to cut it down 34 and an eighth by 45 and an eighth. The things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a nice straight edge, like, like here. Uh, I did go ahead and pick up a knife. Right in the area, if you buy the plexiglass, they have the knife selling right there. Um, you can also use a nice sharp blade if you have, if that's what you have. You just need to really, really scotch, just scotch it. That's all you really need to do before you break it in place. Guys, measure twice, cut one. That's what my father told me once. As you really want to use the safety first, I should have said that early on. You want to use your some some gloves because this this will cut as much as um let me get a market first few max I want to go probably ten times get a good deep groove in there Nice groove there, and then put my safety goggles. This edge is not as that's it, guys. I didn't get the molding that I wanted. They don't sell the molding in the store. Um, it's a cake, but it, I do have my silicone made especially for that. So, in everything, it costs me like about 50 bucks to get every, everything I need to replace that. So now, I'm gonna go inside and knock that out. I have my gloves on, I have my eye protection, and I'm gonna try to get all that out of there, and then we can start replacing. So the next thing we want to do is to clean up around the edges, make sure there's no pieces of glass or any obstruction so that the, the, the glass can fit nicely on there. So just take out 
in extra pieces. That's left on there. Okay, so now we have that. We're gonna try the pexy glass to see how it fits in there. Put the bottom in. And guys, it looks like we have a good fit all around. That is really good. So, now that we know we have that, I'm gonna peel plastic. So we have our, our silicone for plastic sheet. If you, if, you, if you don't want a gun or if you have no time to buy a gun, you can buy any of those that comes in the little containers that you can squeeze with your hands. You don't really need a lot up there. And put just a small bit of, of cork right on the ledge up there. And that's what we're gonna press against to hold it in there. So we have our area nice and clean. We don't wanna put too much, right? It's gonna fall off, so just a little. Just a little bead. Just take your time and just gently just let it. So we're gonna put the bottom in first. Gently gonna push everything in. And just I should make it really watertight. Just let it dry, let it set, and then I guess you have a window. Guys, this is Charlie, um, another home project. Like and subscribe and all. <laughs>